Welcome back my friends to another or let's say it better to a new let's play of seven days to die modded series we are playing war of the walkers I think it's 5.3.1 let me check and yes 5.3.1 and it has just been released and we are going to try it out I have just uh, completed the starter quest, nothing uh, too important. Um, I decided to play this mod. I've been playing it offline, not uh, recording a, a Let's Play series with it, but since Alpha uh, 17 uh, it's delayed, I don't know why, and uh, I uh, don't know where, when it's going to be available. Let's start out the um, a new let's play. I will maintain all the others, Imperian, uh, Dominions and uh, Ravenhurst and I will add another one and I will try to have uh, in each day, um, in every day, uh, a 7 today's, uh, seven today's die uh, video uh, which might be Ravenhurst with all or might be War of the Walkers. I've been playing with the 5.3 uh, the previous version, not this one, this the later release, uh, playing it uh, offline, uh, you can say it offline, and I have uh, and, and I have been having a blast, so I decided to to make a let's play with it, and let's hope, let's see how that goes, uh, let's start off to see the quest to know where the trader is, we started just right here, I haven't moved a lot, just pick up some yucca, and some stone, some 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 wood, and uh, where is going to point me? Uh, okay, it's we. I have there uh, over there a town. You can see that, yeah, but there is the trader is 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 over there. Okay, we might have a second town over there, so we might as well start going. We spawn in the, in the desert, which I really don't mind. The yucca, it's very it's very useful at the beginning. Uh, anything, anything, anything special? Nope. Uh, but uh, bear in mind, you cannot uh, make, and I can show you uh, recipes. The yucca juice over here, usually a source of um, hydration at the beginning, you need it to make it in a mortar and pestle. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with the War of the Walkers or not. I played a lot of it uh, before 5.2, but or uh, I don't know if it was 5.2 or before, but I think it, in 5.2 it was a little bit easier for me than than my my taste usually likes. But I played a little bit with 5.3 and uh, they added up the difficulty. It's a little bit more um, uh, quick to progress than Raveners, but uh, uh, it, uh, it, it makes up a, a nice challenge. The, the roaming guards are very, very uh, annoying. They are very annoying and they can be difficult. I got some crazy zombies right at the beginning. So if you are not paying attention, I got a radiated cop like at day three or something like that. So it's a nice uh, um, difficulty addition that um, they changed a little bit before the previous version. Uh, the mod is very, very memory intensive. My, 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 my rig has 16 megabytes of memory. I have ordered another 16, but I know that they made a little bit of uh, some performance changes. So let's hope and let's see how, 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 how is the performance while doing this let's play. Let's pick up all of these. You need all of this stuff for one of your uh, uh, class quests. I think it's a scholar one. Uh, if you have been following my Ravener series and it's the first time that you are seeing War of the Walkers, in Ravener you pick up a class and stick with it almost uh, all of the game. And uh, you can add extra classes, but uh, to add them it's not easy. It's not immediate. In this case, uh, the, the, um, the, the class quest which we are going to get uh, after reaching the trader, uh, you, you start with all of them, you just need to complete several challenges, several levels to, um, to unlock the, the perks of each and every class. So, and I know because I've been playing a lot that you can, no, this is not very useful but it's better than nothing. I already made my wooden bow 
I can just place some epic, I will stay. The stone shovel, I won't need it right now. The stone hammer, also, I won't need it. So it's going to be like this. So let's keep going. Let's go to the trader and explore uh, the, the mod. And let me get all of these alloy creams. You also need these ones for the survival survival uh, i think it's the survival class you need to craft a lot of alloy cream so and of course i get it by the zombies a lot so always useful to have a lot of bandages lying around and in the desert of course also very easy to spot the bird's nest much more easy than it is on the forest I see a road, I see a road, let's, let's go, let's go, this is a, this, these are iron nodes and the white ones it's I think zinc and copper, I think that's it, let me just again picking up all of these nice plants and of course uh, with alpha 17 right at the corner or or not I want I don't know how long it's going to take uh, it would be a shame not uh, to see these wonderful mods uh, from several and uh, very talented people so it's very nice and uh, again a, a small tip if you are playing War of the Walkers try to get some tires you can get it's easy to get some quick money for when you reach the trader not always you get a tire but uh, which is a, a, a very big difference regarding uh, or comparing with reverse in which you are very handicapped while dealing with the trader lots of stuff you cannot sell in that mod but in this mod it's easier to make some money let me just repair my stone axe because it's almost broken okay one tire HD HD wheels very nice let me get a couple I'm playing with my usual default uh, settings I might change it and I sh will change it probably uh, after a couple of days or after the first week Usually in my first week I'll, I leave the days at 120 uh, minutes because I talk a lot and I lose too much time but after that hello our first catch of the day and well my aim did, did not improve did not improve changing the mod and I saw a chicken going over there, but I, I, I don't feel like running again uh, and trying to get the chicken. I need some. Let me wait until we get the gore block. I want the, um, to get the bone chief. And it takes a little bit of time. Okay, I forgot to place the bedroll. Why did it explode? Okay. And now let me see. It was yeah, I was wrong. I don't need to reach a trader. It was uh, my amazing uh, reading skills that I forgot to place. The, um, I forgot to place the bedroll, and now we got the several uh, class quests. So you can see the builder needs you, uh, wants you to get get some wood, some small stone, and lump of clay to to reach the the part two of five survivalist class. Uh, you need uh, well. I have talked. I have spoken about it uh, a couple of minutes ago. You need a lot of alloy, uh, not of a lot of um, alloy vera to, to craft a lot of alloy cream. But you you get my drift. You have a lot of qu uh, class quests which you need to complete until you get level five. In level five, you need to get several papers to com to get and uh, forge your final your final quest and after that you'll get a nice machine where you can get some very nice items related to the class that you have unlocked 
but we'll we'll have a lot of time to speak about it in the following in the following episodes and in the um, during during the first nights you don't have a lot to do so it's it's easier for it's easier for us to lose a little, a little bit of time to look and it's what I usually do during the night I usually take a little bit of time oh come on man uh, trying to see if I can complete some of the classes nice some hammer I would really like a gun nothing in the tow truck let's keep getting these tires and I see a chicken I saw, I saw a chicken well before the kitchen the <laughs> before the kitchen yeah I'm going to kill that kitchen uh, before the chicken I need the bone sheave so give me just a moment hopefully I get some kind of bone out of this corpse two bones yeah. okay and when when customer over here stop wobbling please ah I'm warning you, do not come closer because I will shoot you. I'm just firing wa warning shots. Nothing on Arlene. Let me make more arrows. Okay. And let's let's continue, shall we? I would really li like to reach the trader and I see kitchen uh, again man. I see two two, ki two kitchens over there. From now on, all the chickens in this world will be known as chicken, as kitchen. Yes. Well, usually I don't mind some naked lady hitti hitting me from behind, but not in this case. Not in this case. You are down and you will follow suit. <laughs> So down, yes, some vitamins, and let's get some tires. Nope. If I have some, if I have trouble eating a zombie, I don't, I won't even know. How difficult it's going to be to hit a chicken. Come on, man. And the, the worst part is, well, I don't want to mess with the wolf. Another, in that case, a dire wolf. And one of, uh, I think it's several classes, uh, you need to kill uh, some animals to get it going. So, they. Dwarlord was not having me in mind when when deciding what kind of quest he could make at the beginning. Come on, man. that I killed the chicken I cannot I cannot recipes achieve I know that I have a zombie right at my back okay you stay away you ugly ugly lady Around. Was it the, the wolf? Okay. So, give me the bone shift. Let me look 
get these bodies. Get the tire. Can I go and get and get the chicken? Where the hell is the wolf? Okay, it's over there. Okay. We are on our way. Some nice meat and feathers always welcome. I see there a bird's nest. How much I enjoy this loot time. And that's a private joke regarding other mods. Well, uh, I might, I might, I am, I'm joking a lot of the time. Don't, if you are hearing me, do not take me too serious. I enjoy very much all the mods that I play and I respect a lot and I respect a lot the, the people that, that made them and the, their decisions behind uh, the mod itself. So I'm complaining about loot time, but in that case it's a, it's a challenge by itself. And you... Can you catch another one? Okay. Can you, can you give me some antibiotics? Nope. Okay, let's go. I would really, really like to reach the trader today. So, let's keep going. All in stopping at the bird's nests. And about at the, at the trash, why not? And I'm going to ignore you. Some leg over. Okay, nothing in the tow truck. Let's go in the road. We'll have the roadrunner buff, so. And it's easier to see if we. It's easier to see if we have any kind of animals lurking around. Okay, more random stuff. Let's check the police car. Let me say hello to this guy over here just to give us a little bit more peace while looting the car. Okay. Three hours. Three hours. Now, level two. This is what I'm talking about. It's before before noon and we are, we are already level two. Not possible in the other mod. Okay, no tires. We get some stones. One more tire. And another one, nice. We'll have nice pocket money to spend at the trader. Nothing over here. And let's keep going. I think it's fastest way over here. Continuing this road. Let's see, are we too far? Well, it's in the other side of town. And I haven't seen yet a nice place to stay. But let's keep going. Checking the trash. Nice garden over here. I might want to make some... Some golden rod tea, so another de more desert, and one pirate ship over there, which is a, almost a trademark of War of the Walkers. Not that it's ex exclusive to the mod, but it's part of the combo pack. Excuse me guys, I'm just trying to find a trader. Do not mind me. It's not in this town, the trader. Nope. It's in the middle of nowhere. It might be over there. Don't know. Keep checking the cars. Mining helmet or... 
I think it's very easy to make in this case. Uh, we just need a flashlight, some duct tape, or and some kind of headgear to make some kind of uh, helmet with light on. So it might not be scrap iron X, much better than our stone X. So let me get all of these all the way and let's go uh, army camp on the right I see a, a train on top of the uh, of that um, of that platform sorry guys I don't have time for you come on come on come on come on come on come on okay nothing special Keep going, keep going. I don't want to go too near of that army camp because I don't want the spawners to wake up and start blowing all the landmines. Yes, that, that, there, it, that, there it is, the trader. Getting all the birds' nests. I see a chicken. Go, go, chicken. At least she will run away into the trader. Wow. Sometimes. Sometimes and I'm seeing, I'm seeing you, I saw you, I saw your shadow, I saw your shadow, are you going to give me also some feathers? Yeah, let's see, the problem is to hit you guys, to hit these guys with the bow and arrow, it's too, too annoying, a snake? Leave me alone, you crazy snake. And let's go. Let's go to the trader. Let's go to the trader and see at least clear the quest line. Let's clear the quest line. And we are in the forest. Let me close. Here are we being followed by the Nope. Blueberries, thank you, thank you very much. Also, also a part of a, of a quest. And let's check. Let's loot a little bit the trader and then we'll finish off our first episode of War of the Walkers um, by checking what the trader has to, to offer. We have a working um, workbench. Little money. And I don't, I don't think there is nothing upstairs, right? Nope, nothing that we can loot. Yeah, we just need to go around. Some, some dumpsters around here. You see, a forge. Okay, nothing special. Vending machines. Let me check. Cement mixer also destroyed. Some cloth. Which you can... There are several ways. I don't. I don't know by heart because, but you can make a lot of cloth to sell. You can uh, probably make some concrete blocks also to sell. <laughs> I will try very hard not to go that way. It's it's easy enough to to get some money to the trader. So uh, I think I will stick to, to the basics, to the basics, and sell what we loot, and that's pretty much it. So okay, hey, Jimmy. Bunker. You respect the shop rules, and we'll get along just fine. Of course, of course. A cooking pot, it's going to be probably easy to get, but... Well, let's first off sell the, 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 the wheels, one wheel. As you can see, almost 500 um, coins for the wheels. Very easy way to get some money. Uh, even these ones. Let me sell the, well, the first the lower qualities, because mini bike it's not that unreachable at the beginning so let's try to do something like this and you don't want any more wheels okay that's fine we'll find extra traders there there are all always one trader at each town so it's easy enough so over here what do you have nothing that i want nothing that i want nope nope food I don't want cooking real well it's easy enough to uh, to find all of that stuff 
so and powder resources and well unfortunately nothing special usually I get some kind of nice at least uh, uh, a blunt weapon or, or some sword to start off but it's not the case but of course it's not a big deal let me just get the cooking pot it should be easy enough but it, it's very cheap so I don't I'm not, I am not even going to complain um, scrap iron hammer I cannot sell this I can sell the cloth you can get it easily and I can sell the chainsaw blade I don't want another chainsaw blade it's, they, they are very easy to find so just a little bit of uh, clearing the space and I will scrap this afterwards okay and we have the flashlight okay we have the duct tape we only need the we only need an helmet do we have here some kind of helmet nope let me see we have the SWAT helmet well it's, it's a lot of money and I don't want I don't have that money so uh, it's not an option it's not an option so I think all we right are... now that we're done doing business get out of my store yes I will get out of your store and and did we man did we well let's first off take a look at our surroundings and call it a video on the on the top of the trailer I think it's going to be nice so let's go to the top all the way to the top and another stairs to the top okay very 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 nice well guys this is it for our episode one of world of the walkers i hope you will enjoy this let's play series i really uh, enjoy playing also world of the walkers and it combines very well with other mods and the change of pace uh, it allows you to do some things in one that you cannot do in other but well it's 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 a nice combination for instance we have the option of war of the walkers it's in a, in a very early state of the game or at least uh, if we compare the by hours played to make some kind of very nice base which in the other and in the other mods it would take uh, a long time to do so but it's different it's different approaches to the game and uh, each one it's it's valid and it's it's a matter to the player to play the mods that he enjoys the most i enjoy playing world of the walkers it's a very nice change of pace and so while we all wait eagerly for alpha 17 we will play alpha um, war of the walkers and let's let's see where it where does it lead us to I hope you are enjoying this let's play series let me know in the comments what are your thoughts do you play war of the walkers do you like it do you like do, don't you like it let me know in the comments i would really appreciate your feedback i hope to see you all in the next episode until then thank you